programs. Uh, I mean, there's a big divide between you and Ignacio on that too in the city. Where would you, he wants to overload it and you want to cut? No, I, I don't think that's a, a, a right description um, at all. We need social programs. Let me start off with that. We need social programs. We need to have a social safety net. Um, but always recognize the fact that it's a net. We've got to be able to figure out how to get people who are in that net out of it. That's where Bill and I disagree. Um, we need to be able to catch them if they're coming into a certain level of poverty, but I don't want them to stay there. I want to be able to get job training programs and whatever is necessary so they can have the dignity of having a job. That said, um, what I did when I was in the Giuliani administration is that I found better ways to spend the dollar than they're currently spending it today. You've got to go through and you've got to recognize the fact that the money that the city has comes from the people. You just can't go out and spend it and create another program on top of another program. Evaluate the program and figure out which is the best one that will get the job done. Um, unfortunately, you can't win an election based on managerial experience. And again, it goes back to sound bites. Um, I don't want to necessarily, I don't, I want to be able to reduce the cost to provide the same level of service. And Giuliani proved that you can do that. Um, you have to be creative. You have to work at it. You got to work in the community. You got to work with the social service providers. Um, I, I know better than anybody how important um, the various different religious groups play, regardless of where they are, um, in, in putting social programs together. I remember I was sitting in City Hall, George uh, W. Bush became president during his transition. He said he was going to open an office of faith-based initiatives. And New Yorkers, including members of the Democratic delegation in New York, I can remember Charlie Randall howling that it's a violation of separation of church and state. And I'm sitting in City Hall saying, Charlie, we couldn't implement our social service programs if it wasn't for the various different Jewish groups and Protestant League and Catholic Charities, Salvation Army, all of them. Even the Bowery Mission is a you know a faith-based organization. And we need them. And there's a real disconnect in understanding how important that is to getting the job done. The reason why I bring that up is when you want to change social programs, you can't do it by sitting in sitting hall. You can't do it by sitting uh, with council members and their staff. You've got to go to groups, go to a good Israel and ask them what works, what doesn't work. Uh, and then you'll get a better idea of how to get it done. Because they're in the ground level and government making decisions up here have no concept of what's going down at the bottom. And they only make it worse.